If you look on the top or this bar, we notice we have this menu. It's a files, edit, object, atmosphere, render, animation, automation, display, and help. So all of these properties, it's allowed to access functionality of applications by with mouse navigations. Of course, most of them you can access with a keyboard shortcut. For example, create a new file. You just press Control or Command on a Mac and N at the same time. Most of the properties they can access from drop down, you can also access from shortcut key or right click with mouse in some areas. For example, if we're going access to atmosphere, you can access from here or from area animations, cameras, all material properties. And this is what nice about flexibility of the interface inside the view because you can define the best way for you more efficient how to access specific areas or properties. For example, right here is object. So let, let me go delete it and we'll just go and create a simple terrain. And as terrain going, we can right click on terrain, which is create for us pop up menu. And in here, we can also go ahead and access specifically edit our object. So we can access through this way. Or we can just double time click on this object, access the same way. Or we can go inside the menu and select specifically here and go access edit object. And how I said before, because we are concentrating on a top bar, you can also going inside your menu drop down and access from the drop menu or press control or command E at the same time. They will all come to exactly the same menu so we can modify this. This is actually nice things, flexibility. And again, what we are going to do here is in our tutorials. Remember, this is a one way to do explore, find more and you can access one thing I do recommend for you. If you want to be more efficient, keyboard short key, uh, shortcuts kind of help you to faster navigate, just learn one key preset at a time per sessions, and soon you will know very well how to manage them. Okay, let's go look a little bit closer on the stop menu. And right here, before we have a file menu, which is very standard, um, we have it create new, open, merge, close, save. Again, we have it work with the recent files. And you can see right here, I have some of them already there, so you can easy access you can preset how many of you in them you can see previous versions you have it can export um, object atmosphere all these different effects and you can also import object or loaded object if you need it there are also additional options that is check for update on applications um, purge memory will go over this and options we'll have specific tutorials just to go over options inside the view see what we can modify and customize this application to fit style of your work next we have an edit options again this is very uh, straightforward similar to other applications only it's work in 3d environment of course we have a copy cut paste delete all these properties we can have selections adjusting replacing nudging moving left right little bit dropping object we have it scattering and also we have it paint ecosystem which can apply locally or global um, next of uh, working with the objects creating converting all this type of different modifications and again we're going a little bit too fast just a point for you kind of get an idea where is this located uh, don't worry if you get lost, we come back to each of the sections and we'll work as we work along, we'll learn more of this. Right now, just to kind of get general idea how the application's um, UI is set up. Okay, so next we have an atmosphere. We'll work with all different type of presets. Atmosphere, we can edit also the clouds as well. Render options where we can set the active cameras we can select the different cameras we can add we also have it options to for the renders so what type of renders we wanted preview renders batching uh, create multiple as well we have it um, non photorealistic render it's more as a cartoonish outline or create all other ones we have it options access here some of these options as we're looking in a drop down they're also available for us 
as a fast access in the top navigation bar and you notice right here we have it create a new open save we have it cut paste and do the do record macro when we need it we also have it access to our atmosphere editor um, scattering all option ecosystems we have it our kind of in a section you can see right here managing zoom in out manipulations we have it our renders preset and preview and we also have it our preview export so this is top bar it's the most useful and many times I find out actually what is on the top bar it's more than sufficient and in uh, some case I may going uh, to the top navigation bar but it's not as often I will going to use this bar as well okay so we'll look on this one now animation wizard and you can see right here we have our animation bar we can um, make different changing on a keyframing all related to animations automations is allowed us to create a specific scripts or macros if you have it something you do constantly repeating over and over you maybe want to create macro or if you're familiar with a python you can write your own script and execute it uh, some more complex animations or other things it's work with a python very well and a little bit difficult if you try to keyframing so it's sometimes it's very nice and in-depth tool we also have it properties for our display so in this way how we can modify our workspace we can create save workspace that you like it preloaded or set and all this additional properties that work with a specific uh, view specific gizmo device and other things and of course we have the help we can access um, about interface which is give you nice uh, pdf file if you prefer read you can go this way also provide some information on the python and on your activation kit and everything uh, important things about this if you use it before um, the VU, you probably want to go to legacy content capability this way it's generating for you the code you can set in uh, to the support and they will help you to content um, to upkeep and work with your content you purchasedly uh, previously purchased at Karnakopia because some of this content it was locked to specific to your machine and they will help you to work with this so this is needed if you want to work with your legacy type of the content you purchase at Karnakopia so it's all available nothing is lost so you don't lose any of your purchases previously so overall this is very fast preview on the top and let's look a little bit more on this uh, views in the next uh, tutorial Thank you.